Alright, so here's our G1 mod board and our wires. And the first thing we want to consider is um, where we're going to hook this wire up on the flyback here. I've got the TV tipped on its side right now. And the tutorial that I found says to turn your TV on, have your oscilloscope hook to a ground and then probe each of these pins on the flyback. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you probe each of those pins, you're going to see on your screen which one goes the most negative. That's the best way I can think to describe the waveform. If you look at the tutorial that I have linked, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you don't have a oscilloscope, I'll show you another option. So first, let's go ahead and solder uh, one of our wires to ground on the board. All right, we're on the ground, and now I'm going to hook the ground of the wire up to our board. So looking at our G1 mod board, we flip it over and we're going to connect anywhere on this bottom line here. This is pretty much our ground. Um, doesn't matter if you have a couple extras, circles, as long as it's touching this bottom, you want to connect your wire there. So let's do that. There we go. See? Connected to that bottom row. It's right here. That's where it goes. And now we're going to connect uh, the, the other wire to this top right corner. Okay, so that's connected. Now, where does the end, other end of this wire go? It goes to the flyback, but if you don't have an oscilloscope and you want to know which one it goes to, I'll show you what you can do. The only real way we can do it is solder this to each one of these and measure the output on this and see which one gets the most negative. That's really the only answer because the waveform of this electricity, it, it's kind of weird. You can't really measure it until we put it through this board. So I'll show you how to do that really quick on a couple pins and you can figure it out from there. See, I soldered the red wire, or in, on mine it's red, yours might be a different color, but I soldered my wire to the number one pin, and now I'm going to take a multimeter and test it to here and here with the TV on, and we'll see what our voltage is. By the way, my TV's on its side, that's fine, you can do yours like this too, or however you want to do it, but this is how mine is. All right, so I just turned the TV on, and now I'm going to touch the probes to the two ends here and here. And I'm just getting around negative 0.6 volts. So that's not what we want. We want somewhere in the range of negative 100 to 200. So, so I unsoldered this wire, and now I'm on pin 2. So... I did that with the TV off, obviously. Now I'm going to turn the TV back on. Alright, the TV's back on. I'm going to probe this again. I'm getting negative 20 volts. So that's pretty good. That's way better. We would have some improvement on the screen with that, but we want to find better than that. So let me find the next pin. Alright, as you can see, I moved to the next pin, and I know from using this TV before that this is the correct pin, so I'll show you, um, I'll check the multimeter with the TV on in just a moment. Now I'm going to test here, I'm going to probe here and here. Be really careful because there's high voltage going through this. And the multimeter is reading negative 153 volts, so that's good enough for uh, the purposes of this mod. So we're going to leave uh, the pin on pin 3 there. 
Now that we know which pin on the flyback this wire is going to, we'll leave it there. And next step is we want to find G1 on the neck board. So on this one, it's right there. It's labeled G1, you can see, G1. And this, to isolate this, it looks a little messy, but it works. Um, this G1 was connected here to this trace. So we ground that out, and it was also connected to this pin on the neck board, so that's why we kind of did a semicircle there to completely isolate it. Your G1 uh, may look just like this, it may not. Your G1 pin just needs to be isolated, so it might be connecting to something else through a diode, so you're going to have to cut one end of that diode up, or pull a diode, or you just have to isolate it. So use your brain and look at G1 and see is it connecting to anything else and if it is just uh, do what you need to do to isolate it for example it's isolated here and so you're going to connect connect one wire to the G1 so we're connected there and the other end of this will go to right here in this bottom corner, it is in the end that the potentiometer is pointing out of. That top right corner, as long as you're connected right in here, any of this spot right here, you'll be just fine. So let's connect that. There we go. That's connected, like I said, anywhere in that corner. And now, um, back to the neck board, we're going to need to connect a ground to the neck board. So, just look at the neck board, and um, you can see right here, there's actually, it says E1. That's earth, or uh, ground. So, I'm going to connect wire right there. Um, uh, one way you can find ground is... Look at this DAG wire, it goes to the ground on the tube. Look where that goes on the neck board. It goes right there. So we'll connect uh, our ground there. So there we go, it's connected. The other end of that wire goes on our board. And honestly, as long as it touches any of this, we're fine. But kind of nice just to put it in this bottom right corner so let's connect that all right we're connected so uh, when you see the line straight across all that solder that's going to be your ground side so on this side we're going to the board uh, ground and flyback pin you can use an oscill os oscilloscope to find the ground pin that goes to the most negative waveform or you can do the method I showed you where you trial and error until you find the one that's the most negative. And um, the other side is goes to the negative of the neck board, right there, and to the isolated G1. So top right corner, this one goes to G1. So now I'm going to put the neck board back on and show you what happens. Alright, so we powered the TV on. When you first power the TV on, it might look like this. I mean, you, you want to have something going to the TV. So it might look like this, or it might look really dark. I mean, it might look really bright like this. But first step, I would say, is I'm controlling the flyback right now. Right here, I got it on the G2. And I would just look at your screen adjust the, f the flyback to you know what about seems normal and now we're gonna go to the G1 mod board and see where this is I would kinda dial it to the middle like if this is all the way to the right this is all the way to the left let's try the middle first and now my screens completely off so now I have to go back to the G2, turn it, turning it, turning it, um, 
Here we go. Let me adjust the foam. And already this is significantly sharper than it was. Um, here, I'll go, I'll go back. This is where we are now. This is the beginning without any G1 adjustment. This is the G1 adjustment turned up pretty high. You can see like the significant line separation. It's almost too sharp. And again, this is a 13 inch TV. So um, the it's kind of difficult to see the differences, but you can see how there's significant space between the scan lines here and here it is like back kind of with the G1 mod turned down and you can see how the space between the lines isn't there anymore that's because when the G1 mod is turned up the focus is the electron beam is much more focused so at this point what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the screen you're gonna turn the G1 mod up or down kind of find the best balance if you want just crank it all the way to the right here I'm turning it to the right see the screen just totally off you turn it all the way to the right and you're gonna get the most focused beam and uh, once you turn it all the way to the right you got to turn the G1 or the G2 up on the screen till you get a good balance um, and so that's how you do it. At this point, you just kind of find a balance between the, the G1 pot and the G2 pot on the flyback. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, you're going to want to go here to the SMTE bars, and you only want to be able to see this one line here. This is nothing to do with the G1 mod. This is just proper brightness adjustment is what I'm explaining to you. You can barely see it, but... And one thing I've also noticed is you may need to adjust the red, green, blue colors a little bit after the G1 mod is done because I feel like the guns might respond a little bit differently when uh, the G1 mod is implemented. So, But that should explain how to do everything. Um, each TV is going to respond a little bit differently. It seems like Sony TVs respond the best. The bigger the TV, the more noticeable it is. This is just a little JVC, but obviously it's it's extremely noticeable in my opinion on this set. But that's everything. I think that covers everything. Feel free to ask me any questions or reach out. Alright, thanks.